Okay, now I believe it is time. Kindly confirm that you can hear me. Kindly confirm that you can hear me. If you can hear me, show me maybe a thumbs up or comment in the comment section or just unmute your mic. Shadrach, awesome, awesome, you can hear me. So good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's training. Uh, today, we will be going through how you can understand the wallets on your HISA app. Now, my name is Gertrude Jerry, and I am the community manager here at HISA. Uh, today, we'll be, as I've said, we'll be going through understanding the HISA wallets. And what specifically will we be looking at? We'll be looking at general ways that you can deposit and withdraw money through the HISA app. Allow me to admit this person. Number two, we will be looking at the purpose of each wallet. Um, there are four, four wallets on your HISA app. So we will understand what does wallet A do, B, C, and D. We'll look at that. Uh, we'll be looking at the reasons why when you make a deposit or withdrawal, it might take longer than the prescribed time. That is, it takes around 48 hours to process your withdrawal. So if it takes longer than that, what should you do and why is this happening? When you put, deposit money into your investment account on HISA, why is it taking long? What can I do so that the money can reflect? We'll be looking at that. We'll also be looking at the proper way of withdrawing from your FIB wallet. Your FIB wallet is one of the wallets on your app. We'll be understanding what the purpose of this wallet is and the proper way to withdraw from this wallet. Number five, we'll look at where dividends are deposited on the HISA app. In case you're new to this investment world, dividends are simply part of a company's profits that that company shares with you the investor this is one of the advantages of becoming an invest an investor in uh, the stock market uh, number six you'll have a chance to ask your questions anywhere that i've not touched on or anywhere that you feel you want more a deeper explanation this will be your chance in the meantime, you can leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll be happy to address them as we continue. Um, number seven, we'll be looking at how you can contact customer support for any inquiry that you might have, any issues that you might be experiencing and so much more. Uh, finally, we will cover what to expect future trainings that will come next. All right. Okay, I hope everyone is satisfied so far. <laughs> so, there are two main ways that you can deposit or withdraw your money from the HISA app. Um, the first way is through bank. And the second way is using mobile money. Okay, so via bank. I'll share the details later, but today I want us to look at the fastest way that you can deposit and withdraw money, and that is through mobile money. So using mobile money, there are two ways that you can deposit or withdraw, that is using the inbuilt uh, features on the app, that is in-app, and the second way is through using a pay bill, the normal way that you can uh, pay for things using M-Pesa, yes. You can also use a pay bill to deposit money into your wallet. So as I've said, there are four, four wallets on the HISA app that you can use to deposit money into. So what is the purpose of each wallet? We'll start with the first type of wallet that is the usd wallet now as i've said each wallet serves a different purpose so what does the usd wallet do well the usd wallet allows you to deposit money in us dollars 
simply <laughs> that's the only uh main difference between this wallet and all other wallets so the usd wallet allows you to deposit money into uh <laughs> yes allow me to uh, allow this person in and we're done so the usd wallet allows you to deposit money in usd and for which stocks will you be depositing money in usd well us uh stocks specifically so you can deposit direct to your usd wallet on hisa but you will need to use the bank way the, uh, there'll be details on your app with how you can deposit money in usd but for this wallet you'll need to use a uh, bank the bank method all right so another thing that is worth noting is that yes you can also deposit money in kenya shillings but for this purpose you'll need to use the default wallet and from the default wallet you'll be able to uh, to transfer the money into your usd wallet by making that transfer it is all available on the app so <clears throat> All proceeds from the sale of shares yes from the sale of US shares will automatic automatically be deposited into your USD wallet so whenever you make a sale of US stocks who oh, see Shanghai where has my money gone just check in your USD wallet after the period because you might sell today but the order has not been executed once it is executed check in your usd wallet that is where you will find your money as i've said you can transfer funds between your usd wallet and default wallet the default wallet is the second wallet that you'll be looking at and this wallet will the default wallet that is will allow you to invest in us stocks as well but for this wallet you can deposit in kenya shillings all right okay i hope that is understood so <clears throat> allow me to uh, to admit this person okay so the second wallet you can def uh, deposit money into your default wallet using a pay bill or directly on the app we'll look at that there'll be a demonstration very soon but specifically for the default wallet you can use the business number 4078603 and the account number will be your phone number don't worry all of this information is on the app but it is worth noting okay as you can see on the screen the third type of wallet we'll look at is the ingot wallet so the ingot wallet allows you to deposit money for in the uh for oh, for investing in cfds all right so you can use the pay you can also use a pay bill number as shown on the screen the business number is 4119739. All of this information is on your app. So, Usijali, don't cram more. There's no need for that. All of this information is on your app. And your phone number, ah, the account number is your phone number as well. So, the fourth type of wallet is the FIB wallet. So, the FIB wallet allows you to invest in Kenyan stocks only. Kenyan shares, FIB wallet. CFDs, Ingot wallet. Default wallet and USD wallet are both for US stocks and ETFs. Okay, that's the main difference in each one of these. So for all the three, that is the FIB wallet, the ingot wallet and the default wallet you can deposit in kenya shillings all right 
and for each of these wallets yes there's an option for you to deposit using pay bill but the easiest and fastest is using the app itself and i'll demonstrate how you can do that so back to the fib wallet fib wallet kenyan shares okay and there are two ways that you can deposit into your fib wallet you can use the pay bill as displayed on the screen that is 88900 that is the business business number and the account number is your csd account number note this for all the other wallets we were using your phone number but for the fib wallet we will be using your cds account number please note that because this is a mistake that many beginners make and it takes long for us to track where that money has gone so please note that when you want to invest in kenyan shares using the pay bill option you can use your uh, cds number as your account number not your phone number as you can use your allow me to admit this person right so fib wallet use your cds number not phone number okay so there we have it the purpose of each wallet on your app usd and default wallet for us stocks and etfs ingot wallet for c fds fib wallet for kenyan shares okay that's the main difference that, that is the main purpose of each wallet it is as simple as that okay i hope that is understood <clears throat> so on the investment how can you deposit money into your hisa account well you can do this as i've said using either the pay bill option or you can go directly on your app and follow these steps we'll listen to this uh, recording <laughs> and yeah afterwards i'll explain on the right hand side tap on the wallet section on the new page scroll until you see the fib wallet tap deposit select which stock you would like to deposit for in this case kenyan stocks key in the amount and tap proceed yes make sure it is from your mpesa phone number and tap proceed okay so uh an mpesa pop-up will show up whereby you will key in your pin And tap send give it some time and that's how you deposit money into your fib wallet on hisa okay i can see rogers is saying volume please it's okay rogers we are going through this uh basically what the video was talking about is the steps that you'll take to deposit money through the hisa app direct so <clears throat> on your app you will tap the wallet section right here upper chini the wallet section right here at the bottom right hand side all right <clears throat> i'm not sure that i can increase the volume of this recording but i'll explain so once you've tapped that we will go to a new page on this page you will see all, all the four <clears throat> wallets that are on the app but for this 
we want to deposit so what we will do we will tap on this button right here the deposit button okay scroll okay there's, a, there's that option of just uh tapping on deposit then choosing or you can just tap on the specific wallet you want to deposit for but technically it will lead you to the same uh page so the you can either the... tap on the wallet or tap on deposit FID wallet. okay so on the so new page deposit. yes Select. if you tap deposit you'll go direct to this page but if you go to the wallet you'll have the option of depositing or withdrawing then from there you can just tap a deposit okay so on this new page you will choose which stocks you want to deposit for um, select the stock type in this case we are depositing for kenyan stock all right stock you would like to deposit for in this case okay can you, you can see your choices there's us stocks or etfs kenyan stocks or cfds for the uh, the purpose of this demonstration we are just going to go with kenyan stocks okay then key in the amount that you want to deposit key in the amount and for this uh, video we are going to deposit a hundred shillings then tap the uh, proceed this button right here I hope you can see it tap proceed so once you tap proceed you'll be taken to this page whereby you will select the method that you want to deposit for uh, using so we said there are two options option one using mobile money that is m-pesa option two making a bank transfer but the fastest is mobile money and that is what we are going to go with then make sure the phone number that you have indicated is your m-pesa phone number because that is where the money will be coming from so make sure the phone number is correct and tap proceed yes Make sure it is from your MPSA phone number and tap proceed. And that is it. So you can see there's a message. Please wait while we complete your transfer request, a uh, transaction request. Sorry. So once you see this message which says success, there'll be an MPSA pop up whereby you you will be required to enter your pin then from there the money will be transferred from your mpesa to your hisa investment account wallet <laughs> yes okay so uh an mpesa pop up you can pop -up. see that pop up asking you do you want to pay 100 shillings to faida mm-hmm for that account so enter your mpesa pin it's as simple as that enter your pin and tap send and the money will show up on the respective wallet from there you can choose which stocks you want to invest in so that is how you can deposit money into your hisa account um someone needs to mute uh kamau kindly mute kindly mute kamau kindly mute your okay thank you so it is as easy as that go on to your hisa app tap on the wallet icon at the bottom right hand side tap on deposit choose which stocks you want to deposit for the amount and follow those other uh, prompts 
and the amount will reflect in your wallet uh, after a few minutes if it does not you can reach out to us via email and we'll credit your account just share the confirmation message and we'll do the rest however this is the fastest way for you to credit your account your investment account on hisa it is the fastest and it yeah it's the fastest uh, there's your tip it's the fastest uh, okay so there are some reasons why depositing or withdrawing from your investment account on hisa might be taking longer than expected uh, when depositing it should happen instant but what what could be the reason why your money is not showing up well there are a few mistakes you might be making mistake number one for kenyan shares you might not have a cdsc and trading account and this is a common uh, misconception when it comes to investors new investors on the app you download the app get your account verified and you start depositing money <laughs> trying to buy kenyan shares this will not uh, be successful why because in addition to the a verified account you will need a cds and trading account all right so in case you find that you have uh, deposited money it has not reflected and it has been more than 30 minutes kindly reach out to us and we will assist you so reason number one might be you are depositing for kenyan shares uh, but the, the amount is not <laughs> reflecting uh, the reason could be you don't have a cds uh, account and trading account so just reach out to us and we will assist the second mistake might be for kenyan shares uh, when using the pay bill option uh, you might be using your phone number as your account number instead of your cds number so note this when investing in kenyan shares and you want to deposit using the pay bill option kindly do not use your phone number use your cds account number all right i hope that is clear the third mistake you might be making is that you are using the bank option yes uh it is quite okay for you to use the bank option but this option is rather slow it might take three days for the amount to reflect on your wallet so uh in case you use this option it's fine you can use it but in case you use this option kindly share the confirmation message with the team via email and we will credit your account with the amount as fast as possible but if you can uh use the fastest method the f it is through by depositing direct using the app that is the fastest i allowance you can make a lot of mistakes so personally i would advise that you use the app to make deposits right so note that at times it might take a few minutes for the amount to reflect on your wallet this is normal uh so give it some time give it two minutes three minutes five minutes but it if it takes longer than 30 minutes kindly reach out to us via email and we will credit your account okay all right so those were the mistakes uh, that you might be making um and the reasons why it might be taking long for your for your account to be credited so how can you withdraw from the hisa app the process is quite simple on the hisa app tap on the wallet section down here okay down here bottom right hand side 
on the new page tap on the withdraw button right here you can see it right here the second button on the new page then choose which wallet you want to withdraw from okay the same way we were choosing which wallet to dip uh to deposit into we are going to use uh to choose which wallet to withdraw from so there are three options then you can use okay um enter the amount that you want to withdraw and tap proceed okay um, note that it takes around 48 hours for withdrawals to be processed and this does not include weekends so if you make a withdrawal on friday count friday as <laughs> day one then you will not count saturday and sunday no count friday as day one monday day two so expect the amount either latest tuesday or monday morning all right okay and that is it you'll by the way you'll be prompted to enter your pin to verify that it is you who is making the withdrawal so enter your pin and tap proceed then wait for your money to reflect okay yes it is as simple as that however for the fib wa wallet for the other wallets you can make the withdrawal like that but for the fib wallet the wallet that we have said is for kenyan stocks uh you need to send an email to the team in order for them to process the withdrawal so here is a sample of the email that you can write the subject withdrawal request from fib wallet hi team kindly withdraw 600 shillings from my fib wallet to my mpesa number 07 you can continue id number cds number and sign off thank you this will help um, the team to get in touch with their fighter team and follow up with their pro uh, withdrawal process. However, um, those are mistakes that most new investors make. Um, you might have everything. You have a trading account, a CDS account, and you have made a deposit then you decide no i want my money back well this might hinder the process of <laughs> processing your request because you are required to trade at least once what does trade mean trade means buy or sell stocks at least once after making a deposit so note that where before you make a withdrawal request make sure that you have traded at least once uh, after making the initial deposit so this is a requirement by the regulator to to counter and uh, money laundering so this is a requirement and i wanted you to note that so make sure that you trade at least once before making a withdrawal and that is how you can make a withdrawal from the fib wallet All right okay so where are dividends <laughs> deposited into your hisa app for kenyan shares it depends on which method you selected uh, but for kenyan shares the institu institution that is in charge of processing your dividends is called the registrar i'll share a list of the registrars in our whatsapp on whatsapp 
let me write it down but for u.s stocks foreign stocks the dividends will show up on your usd wallet so yes for foreign stocks you'll get your dividends in your usd wallet there's also an option for <laughs> you to reinvest your dividends for foreign stocks on the app but there's a requirement that the amount be at least one dollar for each to for it to be reinvested um so how can you turn on this reinvestment option so on the invest page tap on the your profile icon that is your image on the app on the new page tap on investment account um, scroll down to dividends and tap on reinvest dividends i'm not sure whether i added the no i didn't but it is as simple as that that's how you can you can reinvest your dividends uh, for foreign stocks on hisa so we've come to the q a section of this session feel free to ask any questions that you have um this is the time that i will answer um wanjiro can someone record yes i have made the recording and i'll share it on our youtube channel on friday i believe <laughs> Yes, uh, Peter, I submitted my documents to FIDA uh, last week, Tuesday. However, no feedback given even after contacting them. Uh, Peter, kindly, are you on our WhatsApp community? If yes, you can inbox me and I'll follow up with the team. Roger's volume, yes. Peter, mine doesn't have wallets. Uh, Peter, it should. If not, kindly update, update your app. Update your app. It should have four. Update your app. Okay. Um, before I end this uh, session, as a thank you for joining me this afternoon, uh, we are going to be rewarding our investors. So if you are an investor in on Hisa, uh, be on the lookout for some trivia questions. Um, we'll be rewarding. You'll, you might get something. So uh, be on the lookout. If you are in our WhatsApp community, be on the lookout for that. We'll be sharing some questions and there's some gifts up for grabs so thank you so much for joining me this afternoon so how can you contact customer support you can contact customer support using two ways you can either call us or whatsapp us using the number 0726999911 or you can email us uh <laughs> using this email that is hello at hisa.co uh, for market updates product updates and company events and up other updates you can join our whatsapp community if you have not you can scan the qr code that is shown right here i before we end it <laughs> I feel as if um, I might be leaving someone with a pending question. This is your time. You can ask whatever questions you have. Um, feel free to ask. Um, yeah, <laughs> before we end the session. Um, in the next few sessions, we are going to go through investing in us stocks using the hisa app and in the session after that we'll look at investing in cfds using the hisa app okay yes so we have two sessions remaining in this series 
um do we have a question a burning question that you might have feel free to ask this is your chance i am here to answer any questions that you have before we end the session today was there a section that wasn't clear Go in once, go in twice, if not, um, thank you so much for being with me this afternoon, I wish you all the best and happy World Investor Week. I hope you're enjoying this investment journey with us and thank you for being with me today so feel free to stay tuned for those what are we calling them uh, the trivia questions because there are some gifts up for grabs <laughs> I wish you all the best uh, Thank you, uh, Peter. I'll see you in the next session. All right? Okay. I'll share the recording on YouTube on Friday. Enjoy the rest of your evening and happy Mazingira Day. Tomorrow is Mazingira Day. Okay? <laughs> All right, Esther. I'll see you in the next one. Good night, everyone. Okay. <laughs>